Right, time for that changing popping card. That's what I call it, the popping change. For um, This is the tutorial for it. Yay. So, right. Ready? Let's do this thing. It is a completely impromptu card trick. It can have as many shuffles as you like. Okay. So now you've had loads of shuffles. So, right, let's get on with the trick. They select a card. Let's see that one. And it is... Ten of hearts. That's weird because the last one was a ten of clubs. So, ten of hearts is there. Now, some people lift up that top card and say, right, it's going in the middle of the pack. Like, so all you have to do is get in the second position. Some people do that. Some people don't even let them choose a card and just do a double lift and say, right, that's now your card. That was an amazing double lift. Get in. But anyway, you could just do a double lift or just put it in the uh, second position. Doesn't matter. As long as the um, card is in the second position, then you can do some false cuts, false shuffles, whatever you want to do. I generally just do the easy thing, like like that. Sometimes I catch on to that, but sometimes you can just do this. Hold it a bit more. It's a very simple thing. Just get it to the second position. Okay, so now what we have to do is wave, do this false thing. Wave your hand across the deck. It's magically changed, but it hasn't. You just take off that top card and say. Bam! Your card, the four of hearts. It's your card, and I've done it. I am the magic. What? It's it's not your card. What What do you mean it's not your card? It's the four of hearts for goodness sake. Four of hearts is the legendary card. Now, if you didn't pick that up, I kind of did a double lift there. No, I did a triple lift. Did a double lift. See what you want to do when you're showing off, saying, "Oh, I found your card." You just want to push it slightly onto your fingers to kind of get kind of a little grip there. I like that grip. You can do a pinky, 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 um, pinky break. Just get a little break under those cards when you're like showing off, like, oh no, no, I got the four hearts. And then you want you do, you want to get it, <coughs> push it off the fingers, and then say what it wasn't your card, and just bring that card with it. And then you're still holding the deck, but you got that card underneath. What am I doing for goodness sake? There we go. So you got it. <coughs> Using my breath. Right. You got the um four hearts and you're bragging that it's gone wrong and you're like oh no it's all gone wrong so now what you want to do you want to get it in this kind of position I'll do it that way just to see you got your finger and your thumb your middle finger so what you have to do is kind of push it slightly it's not going to bend the card don't worry and you get your other two fingers the opposites holding the pack and you just want to push slightly with these two and then let go with the thumb like kind of so and it should flip it round like that. Sometimes it makes a better noise, but um, yeah, I'm not very good at it yet. It just kind of pops like that. Then you want to go straight on the deck, okay? And then you can turn it for that card. So, right, it's just an ordinary ten of hearts. And it is your ten of hearts. You can even make them sign it if you want, but um, I don't like ruining cards. If you're made of money, there you go. Um... There you go. It's a pretty good cool card trick. Um, hope you liked it. Just practice the um, kind of popping first, because that's the kind of hard bit. You want to go from that corner. You want to go top right to bottom left, and vice versa. And yeah, it should work. <sighs> kind of like that. Uh, just good luck with it. It's a good card trick. Just don't overuse it, because then they'll catch how you do it. And it, yeah, that wants to go straight back on the deck and just brag about how you got that card. Well, so um, yeah, see you next time. I'll try a little tutorial for it anyway. See you next time again.